to Muay Thai Grand Prix 28, where tonight we bring you world-class fight action live from the Indigo at the O2 here in London. Well, our opening bout of the evening, though. Of course, plenty of action still to come, but under 76 kilos, Amadea Sakovic against Giovanni Rivetta. It's Poland versus Italy, and this is not to be missed. Two fighters with a point to prove here, looking to make a massive name in London, and they're going to open the show here at Indigo at the O2. Ciao, sono Giovanni Rivetti, combatto la Travagliate Fighter. Polacco, ho visto che ha qualche match, 8 vinti, 2 persi, non è male. I'm Adeus Sakovic, I'm from Poland and I represent FSV Gym in Exeter. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the fight, I hope, uh, I hope he, he trains really hard. Sono un fighter che non si tira mai indietro, cerco sempre piuttosto di avanzare e di trovare un KO. I'm going to leave my heart in the ring as always, yeah, I hope my opponent is prepared for it, so, and we're going to have a nice crop. Mi sento bene, mi sento forte in forma. Dziękuję wszystkim za wsparcie, przejmujemy imprezę, wjeżdżamy swoje, Polska walcząca, tak to się robi, bez pytania odbieramy swoje, jest moc, dziękuję bardzo. Good evening to the ladies and gentlemen joining us from around the world live on UFC Fight Pass and with us here at the Indigo O2 in London! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present to you an evening of world-class Muay Thai action for your entertainment pleasure, your officials for the evening. Ringside judges, head judge, Mr. Richard Robinson, Steve Gladstone, Brad Edge, and Chris Podesta. And your referees in charge when the action gets underway. Chris Bacheldor and Jesse Saunders. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time where I ask you, are you ready to be entertained? to the black corner from Italy, Giovanni Rivetti! The man in the know, Peter Lowe, knows how to get this party started. First into the ring, Giovanni Rivetti strides at the catwalk here, Indigo at the O2, fights out of the Cesarini Muay Thai Academy in Rome. Giovanni Rivetti! And now please welcome to the white corner from Exeter via Poland, Amadeus Sakuri! Alamadeus Sakovic, Muay Thai Grand Prix debut for him. We caught up with him before the fight this evening and his enthusiasm for Muay Thai was infectious. He's fought in Thailand, he fought in China. He's brought a great support crew with him. And he looks ready for Muay Thai Grand Prix. Certainly, he said he lives and breathes this sport. It's in his heart. Like you say, lived in Thailand for a year, fighting out there. Lived in China for about six months, fighting out there too. Lives and breathes the sport. He's going to bring the power of Poland tonight. But he's draped in that Polish flag. He's got a great presence in all sports here in London, have the Poles. So tall at the weight. Six foot one versus five foot nine. It's going to be interesting. Amadeus Sakari! 
Well, he is officially six foot one, but when we saw him in the changing room beforehand, he And this A class Muay Thai rules bout takes place in the minus 76 kilogram division and will be contested over three, three minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the black corner. At yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 74.9 kilograms. From the beautiful country of Italy, please welcome Giovanni Rivetti! And across the ring, fighting out of the white corner at yesterday's weigh in, he scaled an even 76 kilograms. He's representing FSC Gym in Exeter, Devon. From Poland, it's Amadeus Sagarich! And your referee for this one, Mr. Chris Battledore. Okay, gentlemen, we've been over the rules of this A class Muay Thai bout up here. Listen to my command at all times, protect yourself at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners. And a huge height differential that we saw at the face off. Giannani Rieti, 29 years of age from Rome, Italy. His opponent across the ring, relaxed and draped in that Polish flag. Rieti, quite pensive, gathering his final thoughts. Both of these men making their Muay Thai Grand Prix debuts this evening, live on UFC Fight Pass. A very warm welcome from wherever you're joining us around the world. Well, the first bell's not even gone yet for the first of the three three-minute rounds. The Polish supporters contingent already very vocal, as we'd expect. And here we go. Bell goes for the first of three three-minute rounds. Rieti, green trunks, black gloves, Sakovic, long and lean. White gloves, white trunks with red and blue. It gets rocked by a Rieti right hand. Good start from the Italian. And what a, a build difference in these two. Rivetti is built like Mike Zambidis, very compact, solid frame. And uh, the Polish man, very, very tall and wiry, using that, teak, that push kick to his advantage. Lovely step in knee there. He doesn't have to work too hard to get the kicks up to head height either. Rietti is going to have to have his wits about him and he's going to have to keep that guard high. Oh, Sakovic looking at lead with that elbow. Yeah, lovely little left elbow straight down the pipeline. Seems swoop and duck in there to try and get in Rieti's eye line. <laughs> Trying to get the knees up. All he has to do is lift them just beyond waist height and the eye height then for Rieti. Yeah, that step in left knee almost finding its mark. Nice relaxed and measured start from these two. The Italian having to stay light on his toes and move because he doesn't have the reach. Sakovic actually kicking over the head of Rieti that time. Oh, good high gloves though from Rieti. Good defense. Look how quick that left kick is from Sakovic. He's got all the tools. Certainly has. I like to see this, a nice measured start. Picking his shot, seeing where his opponent blocks, seeing where the weaknesses are. A little reddening on the uh, head of the Italian from that elbow, so it landed straight down the middle as he tries to pop a right one in there. Does look heavy-handed though, Rieti. He's landed a couple. That's the thing when you get the smaller, compact guy who can throw bombs like that big overhand right. Someone like Jabba Askarov or Mike Zambidis. Very dangerous. You can see how broad he is around the back, Rieti. Carries a lot of muscle. 
He's going to need to try and find a way in there. There was that right hand again. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Sakovic just needs to close the ring off a little bit more. Trap the Italian against the ropes. Interesting measured start from both. Sakovic raises his hands to the sky. Here we go to the replays and look over some of that action. There were those dangerous hands from the Italian. That was that nice elbow as well, in short. Through the that, guard. That was just a display of where Rovetti is looking to wait for the shot to come in from Sakovic and then power back in over the top of it with that overhand right or some of those dangerous hands that he's displayed. Doesn't look phased by the size differential, does he? He doesn't seem it, but it's got to be very frustrating and very difficult to get past. He is really going to have to time his shots well to work off the counters and get past the reach of Sakovic. As you hear the Polish support chanting as we head into round two. Henrietti puts it in reverse, moving well though, left and right, not backwards in straight lines, making it difficult for Sakovic. Looks like he wants to line up a big shot from somewhere. A moving target proving very difficult to hit. Rietti getting in and out well in the first 20 seconds of round two. It's going to be so hard for Rovetti to be fighting somebody of Sakovic's size. The height difference is six foot three versus five foot nine, and it's a real going to be a real display of skill getting past that. That knee just narrowly brushes past his chin. Rovetti wrestles his man to the floor. He's trying to impose himself in any way that he can. Elbow attempt just missing there from Sakovic. Well timed low kick there from the Italian. I think he's got a good game plan, kicking the legs off the taller man and throwing the, the hands over the top. Sakovic comes in with the elbow again. Lovely work there. Big score in Muay Thai, taking the back and knee into the kidney, showing dominance in the clinch. I'm surprised that, that Sakovic is quite so keen to get that elbow working when it seems as though he does his best work at range and the elbow takes him in a bit close and allows Rivetti to play for his strengths. It's true, but I think when you've got that sort of height advantage, that was a beautiful knee there from Sakovic as he takes the back again, showing absolute dominance in the clinch over the Italian. And the Italian's in trouble here. Really, is some solid work in the clinch. Hard, heavy knees from Sakovic. He looks to turn the screw. Less than a minute of round two to go as Rivetti tries to let some leather go. Looks like the Italian's in trouble, but then one big bomb over the top could change this fight. Zakovic cornering his man. Not quite turning his hip over on these kicks, but those step over knees are beautiful. Just slows down as we approach the final 20 seconds of the round. Rovetti hanging on for dear life there in the clinch. Zakovic definitely the more well-versed in clinch work. Great knee again. Rovetti keeping his elbows tight. Doesn't want to take those shots. Again, great knee from Sakovic. Two rounds down, one to go. Sakovic drinks in the London air. Another good round from the pole. Yeah, very much so. I mean, Sakovic is, for me, scoring the much better techniques. Those step over knees, a really great score. Taking the back in the clinch, again, really good score. But don't write off Rovetti. 
when he has that dangerous leg kick and overhand right. One shot could stop a fight. That was the shot there, wasn't it? That low kick, the standing leg of Sakovic. Yeah, it certainly was. Just caught him on the way in. Perfect timing. This is where he looked in danger. Again, okay, corners. corners out. His movement has really helped him tonight. Okay, let's go, corners. Let's go. If he'd have been, been static, corners out. Let's go. he would have been in a lot more trouble. Sakovic finding it difficult to shut the ring off from him. Third round, gentlemen. Third round. Here we go for the third and final Stop. round. Box up. Three minutes to go. Amadeus Sakovic and Giannani Rivetti. Again, the chance of Sako. Sako. There were, that was it in reverse. Sakovic just chopping the legs as Rivetti ran in. That's where I feel Sakovic is the most dangerous. That knee and elbow Stop. range. His kicks aren't as powerful because he doesn't turn his hip over on his kicks enough for me but that knee is dangerous well, Rivetti trying to counter with some heavy glove work but Sakovic just keeps walking forward trying to put him exactly where he wants him great knee and just pushes him back a reddening on the nose, it looks to be a, a, like a slight cut on the side of the nose of Rivetti there. wonder if that was one of these elbows. Okay, please. Please. Okay, Just on the inside of his, the left side of his nose, three kicks unanswered from Sakovic. As the Italian chops the Polish leg. Sakovic just keeps him at bay with that jab, still trying to land that high kick. Keep fighting, guys, let's go. It's got to be so frustrating for the Italian to be fighting someone so tall and so relentless, just walking him down the whole time with those dangerous knees. You can see him lining them up now, look. Nice box, let's go, fight. Well, the referee wants more action. in the final minute of the bout. Hasn't been as much action in this final round, but Sakovic has just used all of his natural attributes to control the pace. Great knee again. Ah, Showing again, dominance in the clinch. Oh, look at this kick in from the pole. Superb. Wants that flying knee. Looking for that spectacular finish, but wasn't there. Keep working, guys. Let's go. Box up. Nice. Kept his balance. Walks nearly landed with that knee as well. Just glanced off the cheekbones of Rivetti, who's still hanging in there. I think he's going to hear the nice. final bell. It almost looks like Rivetti's got a little cut on his right eye. I'm not sure if he has or not. That knee hurt. Oh, Sakovic looking to finish strong. Three and a little bit too keen and nearly ended up sat on your lap there, Dave Benson. <laughs> wow, what a finish. He really wanted to end that, didn't he? Well, what an opening bout. Muay Thai Grand Prix has delivered once again. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards and we're going to hear from the victor as well. But first, let's have some highlights of that third and final round. Yeah, that, you just saw that kick from Zakovic there where he doesn't turn his hip over enough on the kick, so he's never going to stop the opponent coming towards him, but he does knee very, very well as he steps in there. Three kicks unanswered. Again from the other angle as we go for the official announcement and ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause please for both of these men after three hard fought rounds and at the end of those three completed rounds your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision all in favor of your winner
in the white corner, Amadeus Sakari. And show your appreciation for our brave runner-up, Giovanni Rivetti. Well, there you have it, Amadeus Sakovic with the win this evening. What a superb performance. And we are going to go shortly to Dave Rogers with the winner for an interview in the ring. Well, it's now time to hear from our victor, Amadeus. Congratulations, great performance in front of this London crowd. And you look like you've enjoyed that. Yeah, thank you very much. I just found my job. But, uh, what can I say, really? Thank you very much for having me on this show. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers. Fantastic performance. Congratulations. Um, can we expect to see you in the Muay Thai Grand Prix ring again? I think all the crowd and everyone at home would very much like to see that. Well, I'm ready 24-7, so hit me up. He's ready. If anyone fancies it, that is the man you'll have to face. Congratulations, Amadeus Sakovic.